what is the meaning of being practical? Hmm? What's your name? Priyanka. What is the meaning of being practical? Right? I'm sure this word is present in everybody's vocabulary. Hmm? We have been told that one must be practical. We often talk of the knowledge part which we call as theory and the applied part which we call as practice. Right? What is this thing called practicing? What is it to be practical? Let's go into this. When you say practical, you obviously understand that it means to act, practice, hmm? act. Now what is it that you must practice? What is it that you must bring into action? Where does all action arise from? Action arises from two very distinct sources. Let's understand them. You take the example of an iron bar and a magnet. The moment they are brought close to each other, what happens? You see action, you see movement, don't you? Don't you? Or take the examples of two chemicals. Simplest would be sodium and water. Did sodium decide that NaOH be formed? Yes, did it? Did water want the reaction with sodium? Yet, the reaction happens and happens in a very energetic way. Hmm? In a violent way actually. They do react. Or take the example of anger. Somebody comes and says something to you and it is guaranteed that you will boil up. It is known in advance that when certain words are uttered to you, you will retaliate. You may abuse back the person. You may even hit the person. Action happens. And later on, you repent. You think, why did that happen? How did that happen? The event didn't even take my permission. For our permission, I didn't know that it was happening. In court cases, people often say in their defense, this action happened despite myself. I didn't know. It just happened. In a fit of rage, I just pulled the trigger. Somebody got killed. Just like the iron and magnet, just like sodium and water, action is happening, but there is no understanding of action. There is nobody to know from where it is coming. <coughs> sodium is programmed to react. The iron molecules in their particular alignment are programmed to be attracted by magnet. And the human mind too is programmed to get angry. Where does this programming come from? This programming comes from two sources. The body. The body is programmed. You understand that? You put your hand over a candle and what happens to the hand the moment it comes in contact with the flame 
it requires right it doesn't even take your permission to require you don't even have to think it just happens the body is programmed the various functions of the body are programmed functions you know that right you have had your breakfast in the morning and the breakfast is being gradually digested in your stomachs and for that digestion your permission is not needed you need not know which enzymes are being secreted and what kinds of biological chemical reactions are taking place they are just happening the body is programmed right <coughs> and then there is social programming the programming that happens after birth you are a girl you must behave in these ways you are a boy you must behave in these ways you are a hindu you must respect the sound of the temple bell you are a muslim you must respond to the sound of the azan this is social programming this is what other individuals and systems and ideologies have stuffed into your mind still it is programming just like a computer is programmed now the computer might be a wonderful computer a super computer but will it ever understand what it is doing will it ever understand what it is doing it would always be dependent on its programming it can never go beyond its programming even the best super computer that man will ever make can never go beyond its programming it is dead it can never really come to life to come to life means not to be programmed means i am not dependent on my past i am not dependent on my training i am not dependent on all the experiences i have had my action emanates from spontaneous understanding of the situation i am present in deep attention in my presence i know what to do this is the second source of action no programming yet action is happening not out of memory but out of consciousness not out of programming but out of understanding not out of repetition but from a fresh source how would you like to act in a programmed way i am programmed whenever i see the face of that person i hurl two abuses at him and walk away or would you like to say let me just stop pause for a while let me look attentively closely at that man do i really need to be hostile towards him always can i just gather myself and understand him getting it this is what real practicality means that what you practice springs forth from your understanding not from your past not from your training not from your conditioning and then action is fresh and then action has endless possibilities then you are not confined to move in a particular narrow direction then the world opens up for you then you can do this and you can that do that as well that is what it means to be really practical the really practical man is a limitless man his environment does not limit him his past does not limit him his experience does not limit him no identities draw his boundaries he practices what he understands he will not do 
something just because everybody in the family has been doing it. He will not do something just because it is a religious tradition to do it. He will not do something just because the entire world seems to be doing it. But look at ourselves, look at our actions, what we call as the most important actions of our life. Do we really understand them? Are we practical? No, we are not practical at all. We are very, very theoretical and bookish. Let's look at some of the important actions in life, what you call as important, right? For you, education has been very important. Have you really tried to understand why education must have such a shape and content? Have you ever, ever really asked why you are being educated this way? You have been coming to your schools and colleges and universities, but have you tried to understand why you are coming to them, why you are practicing what you are? It's a convention. Everybody must do 10 plus 2 and then something and then something. So you're doing it. Your next action would be probably to take a job. Have you asked yourself what is it to work and what is the relation between work and money? What is it to have a livelihood and what is the relation between life and livelihood? Have you ever really asked? No, but you will get into that. You will start acting without understanding. You will take up a job without understanding. Why am I working and why must I live like this? Are you practical? So much of theory has been fed in our brains that real practicality has died. The questions that even a small child can ask, we fail to ask them. We have become so bookish. And when I say bookish, I mean something which is just coming from knowledge. What, is the, what does a book give you? Knowledge, right? And all conditioning is a form of knowledge. Somebody has said something to you which you have gathered as knowledge. This is what I am calling as being bookish. And then, the next major action that you will say will happen to you in life is marriage and family and kids. <coughs> Do you know what is it to marry? Do you know what is this institution of family? Have you ever asked yourself, why must I procreate? But still, you will get into marriage without understanding what it is and why must I get into it? Is that practical of you? Is that practical? Hmm? Iron and magnet, man and woman. Male hormones, female hormones, chemical reaction. Is that practical of you? Do you understand what is happening? Without understanding, you will keep acting. You'll keep acting and life will keep slipping away from your hands. And very soon you will find that just as you have spent 18 years or 22 years or 25 years, very soon you will find that you have spent 60 years or 70 years and death is knocking. You have been acting but never understanding. You have been breathing, but never living. The really practical man is not what you have been told he is. You have been told that the really practical man is the one who is street smart, who is a little cunning, who knows the tricks of the trade, who knows how to make his way, get things done and when you see such a man you say oh he is very practical. He is not practical, he is just stupid. 
practicality is not stupidity practicality is wisdom of the highest order i understand and i live the understanding this is being practical right first thing i understand i am not an idiot i can pay attention i can understand it's simple the moment i attend to it it becomes clear i understand i understand and i live as per my understanding <coughs> the understanding seamlessly becomes the action my action does not come from the commandments of this and that my action arises from intelligence my action arises from clarity and then my action has great power i don't even need to decide there is such clarity there is no confusion the really practical man you would never find him confused because the action itself is arising from clarity so where can confusion come from yes next time you hear the word practical do not think that we are referring to cunningness don't think that we are talking about your everyday smartness this everyday smartness is a cheap thing don't think that practicality is about driving people and knowing how to get your way around the situation practicality means wisdom and courage the wisdom which reflects in understanding and the courage which reflects in living the understanding i understand and i have the guts to live what i understand right